Hi, my name is Mike. I'm a senior content manager. I was using Skype for business. Now I'm using Microsoft Teams. For more reviews like this, click below. So I use Skype for business and Microsoft Teams for two primary reasons, collaboration and quick communication. It's really easy to get a quick group and a quick message out to either one or a few people and get a quick answer back. Uh, it's great for that quick collaborative work, that productivity, you can share things quickly. And that's what I really like about both those products. What Microsoft Teams is best for is face-to-face -face collaboration in a virtual environment. It's great for um, getting someone on camera. You can talk with them face-to-face. -face. You can really read each other's reactions. You can really have those uh, interpersonal communications without being in the same room. You can also collaborate really well. You can ping people quickly. You can react to people's comments. You can have that quick interaction. And you can get answers for questions really quickly as opposed to an email or a meeting. And then finally, it's great for document sharing because it's a cloud-based system. You can share documents, you can edit documents all within Microsoft Teams, and it really is one-stop shopping for collaboration and productivity. What Skype for Business is best for is really replacing email with those quick communications and getting quick answers. Instead of sending an email, flooding someone's inbox, you can ping someone quickly, a quick question or even a longer question, have a quick conversation and come to solutions really quickly as opposed to an email that might take it back and forth. You might not hear back from someone as emails get drowned in an inbox and I really like Skype for that ability. When onboarding with Skype for Business and Microsoft Teams, it's a really simple and user-friendly process. You've got your contacts that are already within your organization. You can create a special contact list with specific people that you want in those lists. And it's a really good way of kind of framing out um, who you need to contact and when, and, and then you can access those people quickly. So that's a, that's a great feature. And then just understanding the chat software is, is really simple. We're used to these quick communications, whether it's text messages or emails or other types of uh, communication messaging platforms. And Skype and Teams are, are no different. They do have some built-in emojis and reactions that you can use within your communication. So in terms of the onboarding, once it's installed and you're within your network, it is a, it's a really seamless process and uh, really easy to kind of uh, figure out and get up and running. What's really important to me when looking for this type of software is really user-friendly. If I'm communicating, I need that communication to be really simple or else what's the purpose of quick communication? So that's really one thing. Another thing is just collaboration. Does it make a collaborative environment easier and more connected than what I would have in person um, or what I would have just through email? And hopefully the answer is yes. And does it kind of take the messaging idea one step further? Can I share documents? Can I share images? And can I do it all quickly and simply without clogging up again my day, without creating more work to try to figure out these software platforms and without um, making my life more of a challenge at the end of the day?